everybody doing? Thanks for joining me. Welcome back. Today I wanted to share a haul with you guys, share some products that I had picked up. So if you guys would like to stick around and see what I picked up, keep on watching. Okay, I thought I'd go ahead and share with you guys some products I did pick up. Uh, I did get most of my stuff from the drugstore. I did get one order from Sephora. Uh, I do have other stuff that will be coming, so I'm trying to do it in two separate things. But let's go ahead and get into this. So the first item I did pick up uh, was from Garnier. It's the Skin Active, the Gentle Sulfate Free Cleanser. It's in a nice big tub like this. I did just recently share it in uh, Likes and Not Likes. It's a really nice cleanser to use to melt down your makeup. Just don't your eyes. You cannot use it on your eyes or you'll burn your eyes. So just remember that if you do pick it up. The other item I picked up was a Vera Wang. Uh, these I got at Walmart, by the way. I'm sorry. Walmart, we're going to work with first. This is Vera Wang Embrace Rosebuds and Vanilla. Oh, this smells amazing. Again, this was in a likes and not likes. And as you heard, I love the scent, but it doesn't last. I'm going to use it. I don't want to waste it because it was like about eight bucks for it. But yeah. The scent just doesn't stay. And I'm on this big rose kick because speaking of, and I did tell you guys, I got the Moroccan Rose Sugar Scrub Body Scrub from Tree Hut. I got this one. Oh my goodness. I haven't used it yet. Not yet. This smells heavenly. I definitely think this might even become the more favorite. Out of all the ones I've tried because it has that fresh clean rosy scent it's not a real powerful rose scent so if that's something you're concerned about it doesn't have that real strong rose scent I like the scent of rose just in general with anything but if you're somebody that doesn't like the real strong one you'll be fine with that because it has a nice fresh clean scent rose to it it's not real powerful the next thing I picked up was the hard candy primer lotion coconut water infused it looks like this. I did have the spray bottle where you set your makeup and everything. Love that. I would purchase that again. And this here, a lot are comparing this to and saying it's almost like uh, the Hangover, Too Faced Hangover, because this is coconut infused. I'm going to tell you right now, I haven't tried this, but I don't know how they would actually be comparable because this has, and it even says on here, silicone free. There is no dimethicone, silicone, or anything in, in, in the Too Faced one. This one, yeah, there's dimethicone. So this does have silicone. This one does, this one doesn't. So, but I'm going to test them out. I'm going to, we're going to see. So I'm going to do a video upcoming and sharing that with you guys. This thing, and I'm wearing it right now on my waterline. Oh my goodness. We will see. Let me see if it's still there because my eyes were kind of watery earlier. My allergies were kicking in. That's still, it, now it looks like it's still there pretty good because uh, I put this eyeliner on my waterline and it is from Maybelline Striking Copper Lasting Drama Eyeliner. Here's the box. It came in. Here it is. This is in striking copper and oh my goodness, if this works and this is really creamy, I mean, look how pretty that is. So if these work out as good as what I'm thinking, I'm getting more. So we'll see if this lasts in the waterline because they have a blue color, they have teal, they do have white, they do have the, the nude color even. I'm trying to think of what some of the other colors were, but I wanted copper. Oh my goodness looks gorgeous. From Maybelline, I seen these were like marked $3 in my Walmart, so I'm not sure if they're getting rid of them, but they're the Baby Lips Color Balm Crayon. This one's more purple shade. It is a little bit funky, and they are pretty uh, pigmented, if you can see that. I mean, that is insane for a lip balm. Seriously. So I don't know if anybody else's Walmart is doing that, but mine are clearance to $3. I do have one other shade, but this will be very pretty. A beautiful like lilac-y color that will be very pretty for right now with the spring uh, time and summer. So another uh, primer. Gosh, do I really need these primers? No, I don't. I've seen shades of Cassie talking about this one here. Rimmel Insta Flawless Perfecting Radiant Primer. It looks like this. 
It's kind of a small tube and it's in clear. I think they have another one that's maybe a bronze, maybe, but that's what it looks like when it comes out. And then you massage it into the skin and it does give you a nice radiant glow. So, and it feels nice. So we, I don't know, I always smell stuff. Why do I smell stuff all the time? I do. But it does give a nice radiance. So we'll see. I will try that out. I do have this on and I did do a demonstration. I don't know if that video will be up before this or after this. But um, I do have it on right now. And it's the new CoverGirl Vitalist Healthy Elixir Foundation. And it comes in this really cute packaging and mine's in classic ivory so i do have that on and then i did get the covergirl outlast all day uh concealer i did this with the foundation on my tryout so uh, and i wanted to do this in with those and i forgot i don't know how i did but i got the total tees uh covergirl um, mascara. Look at the way that wand's supposed to look. That is crazy. I don't know. We will see. Another CoverGirl mascara. One of the ones I had. I don't know. I might have gotten rid of it at this point. I had it here somewhere. I went, like I said, it was like a weapon because it was like every time I tried, I, it, I just wasn't liking it too much. So, but I figured I'd give this a try. I know there's another mascara I want to try from L'Oreal and it looks a lot like the packaging from Too Faced, uh, Better Than Sex. I just seen people coming out sharing that right now. More CoverGirl. I did pick up the other pot. I have the Tiger's Eye one. This is the gold, the rose gold one. I have the gold one. Um, these are limited edition, so you might want to check on Ulta or online or in your Walmart, Walgreen or something. But I really like these. I like these even a little bit better than the color tattoo. And this is such a pretty, I don't know how well you'll see it there, but these are so pretty to put on the eyelids. So smooth and pretty right there. And also you can top it. You use it as your eyeshadow base, eyeshadow or highlight, whatever. You know, it's, it's all up to you how you want to use it. Picked up two more lip products from CoverGirl. I did pick up another one from the limited edition Kitty Cat Pearl because I was liking the other two that they had sent me because they did send me some products. But this one here is in Apricot Abracat, Abrachat, Apricot Abrachat or something like that. Not sure what you see. There you go. I seen Tati put this on and it looks so pretty. So I'm like, yeah, I'm getting that one. So there it is there. That is a really pretty peachy apricot color. And they do have a pearlescence to them. So if you don't like the pearlescence, you won't like any of them from the line. But if you don't mind it, then yeah, you'll you'll like that. And then I got, because I've always liked their color, their lip perfections. And I don't believe I have this one. Sometimes, you know how it is, I, like I got too many lipsticks. And there's times I'll discover I did pick up another the same, but I'm pretty sure I don't have this one in it. 265 Romance Mauve. And this actually looks like, funny enough, it has a uh, pearl essence to it. Not that I tried figuring it to, to be that, but that's it there. See, isn't that crazy? But it's really pretty. Right there it is on top. It's really pretty though. I like that. I think especially these kind of like with the pearl essence, they do give that nice look to the lips. I never get going with my nails and I want to do something for my nails, which sorry about the sunlight coming in. The sun's starting to set around the back of the house there. So that's kind of why I'm filming later than what I usually do. But this is the Sally Hansen Extra something nails. I don't know. It's a really pretty lavender pearlescence. Uh, it's actually called 554 Stargaze Lily. Oh, Stargaze Lily. Wow. I'm trying to wipe off that copper uh, eyeliner. Yeah. Uh, I don't have a wet, but I'm still trying to use a towel, like a tissue towel, 
because I was trying to get some of my swatches off. And it's taking a bit to get it off. It's still faintly there, so let's hope that means promising. It's ecstatic because it cosmetics. Uh, some uh, that work in the PR or something like that, they contacted me and sent me a few It, it, cosmetic, uh, it Cosmetics products to try out. Sadly, the blush was broken, but they're going to send me another one. So I can't really show you the blush here. This is the Bye Bye Pores uh, blush, and mine is in the Je ne sais quoi that we know of. And it's a blush. They're going to send me another one because as soon as I opened it, you could see um, that it, it, it's shattered. It's just completely shattered. But it does say anti-aging and skin-loving Bye Bye Pores optional blur technology, silk, hydrolyzed collagen, antioxidants, and peptides, which we know in cosmetics is known for skincare. One of my favorite, and it's actually becoming my most favorite, is their illumination foundation the it cc i love that uh, foundation however they sent me the original because she asked what shade i was in and yeah this is the original one so i'm excited to try this because i want to see is there a difference will i like this one more will I like that one more will i like them like them the same some seem to like both of them the same so uh and they sent mine in fair so i have that and then the other thing i cannot wait to try is the uh je ne sais this is je ne sais quoi rose hydrating color awakening lip treatment so this is a nice lip treatment i think i've seen i see mary ellen she shows a lot because they do send her a good bit too um and she shows a lot of these uh products from it and first of all this is my first packaging to have the magnetic closure i mean how cute in detail is that not to mention the pretty color of the packaging but yeah, so last time my husband, I'm like, yeah, I see why it's addicting because I know the daughter's lipsticks are like that. So it's a beautiful rose shade tint to it. Oh my goodness, does it feel nice. Now I think it will go into your skin. It, it's one of the ones that after a while it's supposed to go to the color, which, you know, I didn't put it on my lips, but you can see it changing right there. And it will probably give me a nice rosy, Let's see if I smell anything. I smell everything else. There's no scent to it. It probably will give me a nice rose tinge. I can see it now. Look at that. How cool. Some days I don't feel like putting lipstick and all that stuff on. I just want to hurry up and go out the door. And I have been putting stuff like the CC creams or things like that on real quick. And just a little flick of uh, mascara and then a little lip thing or something like that. You know, whatever. And out the door I go. Yeah, you can see it. it's getting more and more pretty. Thank you, It. That was super exciting. I cannot wait to try the powder out too. The, the uh, blush. My birthday is coming up in June. It's the beginning of June. And yes, I'm going to be 50. I'm hitting the mark of the big 5-0. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 5-0, 50. I cannot believe it. I really cannot believe. Um, yeah, I'm going to be 50. But I don't, I'm not feeling it. Like I know when I was 40 or I turned 40, when I turned 40, I seriously was like so bummed out, so depressed. It was insane. I can remember the feeling that I had. I was like really not happy. I can remember that. I think, I don't know, because like right now I'm thinking I'm going to be 50. It does freak me out a little bit, the thoughts of it, because I'm like, holy crap, you know, but I'm not feeling that feeling that I had when I turned 40. I think you come to accept, you know, especially if you're somebody, especially that turned 40 and you had the same experience as I did. For myself, I feel like you come to accept because you got to that point of 40, which is considered middle age or something like that, I guess, or whatever. Um, you come to accept it after a while when you get through your 40s, when you more mid 40s, later 40s. You just, I don't know. That's how I feel. So, yeah, I mean, and I don't know anymore now. I just look at it's another number, another birthday or something. So, yeah, beginning of June, I am going to be big 5 0. So, uh, I'm going to be doing some birthday shopping. So this is my excuse right now as I'm going. 
and it's not even June yet, so I'm, 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 that's my excuse, but it's that's not a good excuse. Anywho, um, they did send me a sample. I did have some perfume samples too. I don't know if I put, yeah, I did put it in here. Um, but this one here is a sample of a serum. It's a double serum or something from Clarins. Uh, double serum. I don't, I don't know how, like these kind of products you can't really tell. And you can tell you're going to maybe like it, how it feels that first of it. You, can, you can't tell the results. So, you know. Um, the other thing, oh my goodness, I love the scent of Chloe. Um, the Chloe scent. So there was an area where you could get, and this was free with my points maybe, I think is what it was. And this is a mini roller ball. And I love the smell of Chloe. Oh goodness. So I love that. Okay, hold on. My cat's in here, so I don't know if he's gonna hop up up there or not. Okay. Last couple products I have. I wanted to try one of the Hourglass ambient powders here. All so much about them. I did get, uh, I did get one, but I got one of them little minis that you could get for like twenty-two dollars to try it out. Oh. Yeah, he's back there. We're just gonna let him do his thing for a bit here. So <laughs> he had to be part of the show. One of the smaller little mini compacts. They are like nice smeared compact. I got Mood Light. Mood Light has a lavender tinge to it uh, from what I read, but it is so pretty. This is it here, Mood Light. And I think it's Terra Babies had showed hers before. Right there it is. You can see it pretty well. Oh my goodness, he's going to drag that thing down. And it gives that nice glow. I actually put it on today. And I do really like it. So I bet you I'll get the full size. I'm not going to do it until this one goes through because I was sitting there thinking, oh, I already like it and I'm going to get the full size. And I thought, that's stupid, Lori. You know, see, I got to stop myself with that stuff. And then I did jump on the bandwagon of one of the Bizart, uh little palettes. They're the littler ones. They're like, I think $45 for these. And that's still pretty steep, but I always hear such great things about them and I have wanted to try. So the color I got was Theory. I think, yeah, it does say down there, Theory. And boy, are these super cute. I did finger mine, got stuff on them, but yeah, you just pull this open and it is like magnetic closure. Here is those beautiful beautiful shades uh they're all shimmer there is no matte in this one they are all shimmer colors but boy isn't it pretty so i cannot wait to play around with that one i'll do a video where i can do uh, a look with it and with some of my new products like i do sometimes and share that last thing is i did pick up the urban decay i don't know how you say his last name but it's jean michael i think it's jean John Michael Basquat. I don't know. How you, I don't want to say it. I think I'll butcher it, but I'm pretty sure that's John Michael. He does art scene in New York City, so he he is an artist. That's what I thought. So he's an artist. So obviously the palette has some of his artwork to it, and here it is. This is what it looks like. It's pretty cool. I like it. It feels really feels really cool. It's like a uh, material with a cardboard and everything. And there is the real pretty colors. The I don't think I ever tried Urban Decay blushes or anything. So this is my first time. And what got me too was Tara Baby said this uh, bronzer here is a really pretty bronzer. It is. It's actually got the reddish tinge to it, like the reddish uh, tone in it. Right there it is. Boy, just that little swatch right there. That's it right there. And the blushes are real pretty. Um, X-rated is this bright pink color here. Jawbone is that bronzer I just put on. Uh, Noho. <laughs> Noho is like this beautiful, um, it's almost like pinky purple, like a deeper purple color or something uh, right there. And then the highlight is called Now's the Time, which it is so pretty. It honestly it looks a lot like Name's Highlight. There it is right there. It's really pretty. Um, Laura Geller's The Honey One or something looks like that. And it kind of looks a little bit like 
um, Mally's, one of Mally's uh, highlighters. Here's the NoHo blush. See, it has a nice purple color to it. Yeah, they're very pigmented. I'm discovering that. And x rated that really pretty pink color. So there they all are there. Okay, beauties, that is everything. That is all. And as I always say, that is enough. <laughs> Don't want to be here forever. I will have another upcoming haul coming soon at some point because uh, I did get some stuff from Alta and everything. And I do believe I have my boxy charm coming. All right, beauty. So thanks so much for joining. I really appreciate that. If you did like this video, please give me a thumbs up. That helped me out so much and put a smile on my face. And there's the phone. So if you are not subscribed to my channel, you can come and join me each week. You can hit the subscribe button down below. And also there's a bell right next to the subscribe button. So make sure you hit both of them. You'll be notified by email of when my videos are uploaded. And as always, beauties, please remember to be yourself, love yourself, and let the real beauty shine through. So until the next time, you take care. I will see you then. Love you guys. Bye.